What is up guys, DZ here. Today we have a Konami sponsored video. We are opening some Battle of Chaos today. So they sent me two boxes, one to open in today's video and one to give away to a viewer. So if you go to my Twitter right now, there will be a pinned tweet for as long as the contest is going on where you can win a Battle of Chaos box. So we'll open one of these in today's video and Battle of Chaos has a ton of cool stuff. You have new Dark Magician support, new Blue Eyes support, new Vampire support, a new world premiere archetype and that new dino archetype as well by the way if you guys are interested in learning more about the blue eyes and dark magician support in this set uh tom box and i did a video on the official Yu-Gi-Oh channel where we dueled using dark magician and blue eyes and also yesterday i posted a deck profile of blue eyes on my channel sort of going over the new cards and interactions with the battle of chaos support um anyway without further ado let's start opening these packs hopefully we can pull some of those new world premiere cards because because uh, at least the premier promo card, the, uh, what is that, Geek Boy, Libromancer Geek Boy, that card looked pretty crazy. Oh, hey, we got a new world premier card right in the first pack. Rock Scales, a new level 5 fish effect monster. If this card is special summon, you can target one other face-up monster on the field. Equip that face-up monster to this card. Oh, it's like a relinquished anima. Interesting. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster with the same type and attribute as the monster equipped by this card's effect, you can destroy that opponent's monster monster. Oh, so it's like a relinquished anima and a cataster in one card. Pretty interesting. Next up, we have Doll Happiness. Oh, that's an OSG import 98 there. That's actually a card I've seen in Master Duel, so that's kind of cool. Sword Soul Strife, Dinomorphia Sonic, and Ice Jade Creation King Fisher, a new Ice Jade support card. And uh, what is this? The Great Double Casted Caster, another new world premiere card. Spellcaster Fusion, it's uh, level 8, 0 attack, 26 defense. It takes two non-effect monsters to bring out. Okay, gains attack equal to the combined original attack of any ritual fusion synchro, exceeds, or link monster used as fusion material for this card. But you have to use non-effect of those. That's kind of interesting. This card can attack directly. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one of your non-effect monsters that is banished or in your graveyard. Special summon it you can only use this effect of the great double casted caster once per turn a very interesting new world premiere card there and another dinomorphia submarine to a ride and dinomorphia shell okay so a couple world premieres already in that first pack i guess we'll move the packs over here the Dynamorphia cards, by the way, those cards are going to be super cool. Obviously, uh, I'm a big uh, counter trap person. I have a lot of uh, decks that play counter traps, and that deck is all about really good counter traps, which is nice. Is that an OST import? No, that's just a new card in here. Kaiza, the hidden star end of the line, pot agreed there in the artwork. We have uh, the Dark Charmer, great link to monster for basically any dark deck. Uh, we have the Tyrant of Thunder, that is an OCG import, number 97 there. Dinomorphia Alert, Dinomorphia Shell, and Samorg Bird of Perfection. Cool stuff there. Yeah, new Samorg support as well. The uh, Samorg Link 3 is obviously seeing a lot of play right now in a Leerlisk Tri Brigade. We have a Skilled Brown Magician, Dal Happiness, the Dreamier Trader, uh, Epsilon, the Magnet Warrior, Libromancer Firestarter. So this is our uh, first Libromancer pull. We already do know the Premier uh, promo card one, but this is a level three ritual monster. And it says you can ritual summon this card with a Libromancer card. If this card is ritual summoned by using a monster or monsters on the field, it cannot be destroyed or banished by card effects. Gains 200 attack and defense each time your opponent activates a card or effect while you control this card with attack less than 3,000 in the monster zone. Okay, so kind of an interesting card there that uh, your opponent might have a difficult time getting rid of. DDD Headhunt, uh, Flower Dino. Oh, this is a world premiere too. Okay, Flower Dino, a dinosaur level 4 monster with 2,000 attack and 0 defense. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned by its own effect. You can only use each of the following effects of Flower Dino once per turn. If you activate a trap card or effect, oh, okay, or your opponent activates a spell card or effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target three banished spell or traps, place them on the bottom of the appropriate deck or decks in any order, then draw one card. What an interesting card. It's like a multi-faker for you, but if your opponent activates a spell or a spell effect, you can special summon it as well. The Agent of Destruction, Venus, and Imprudent Intrusion for our final combat in that pack okay well, let's keep going let's see some more libromancers we've actually pulled a number of world premiere cards so far so that's always nice to see we have a ghostric siren 
Ghost Trick or Treat, okay, two Ghost Tricks in a row, Skilled Brown Magician, Doll Happiness, Libromancer Magi Girl, okay, new Libromancer card. This one says you can reveal one ritual monster in your hand, special summon this card from your hand, okay, so that's the same summoning condition as the Geek Boy, if I remember correctly. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can ritual summon one Libromancer ritual monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand or field whose total levels equal or exceed its level. You can only use each effect of Libromancer Magic Girl once per turn, so this allows you to ritual summon on the opponent's turn. Dynamorphia Diplos, Submarine Tour Ride, and uh, Ogdoptic Serpent Strike, or however you pronounce that archetype, I always struggled with that one. Dynamorphia Diplos again. Okay, so these Libromancers are all about ritual summoning, and it looks like they have some pretty good cards so far. I am curious though, there's probably like a big ritual. I would imagine that Firestarter is not the only ritual in the archetype. We have another of the Hidden Star. We have, oh, that's an OSG import. That's a cool one, Dragon Monster. Clear New World, Dynamorphia Brute. And oh, cool, okay, Dynamorphia Domain, one of the uh, secret rares in the set, I guess. So this is a card that allows the Dynamorphia archetype to fusion summon. The Dynamorphia cards are all pretty interesting because a lot of the trap cards pay half of your life points to activate them, including this one. So that is our first secret rare pull. We have another copy of the great double-casted caster, Dynamorphia Diplos. The two ride again, and Dynamorphia Shell. Okay, so that is nice. There are two Dynamorphia fusions, I believe, in the set. So hopefully we can pull one of those, because now we have a way to summon them. We have Dynamorphia Sonic. Uradora of Fate, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Skilled Brown Magician. Dell Monster Bear Bear. Ultimate Fusion, so this is actually a really good card for the Blue Eyes deck. It's like a quick play fusion, and then you can pop cards on your opponent's field uh, for every single Blue Eyes or Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon that you used on the field as material. Um, it's really good just for recycling resources and summoning some really big Blue Eyes fusions, so that is obviously a very good card and a card that I am already pretty familiar with, honestly. But uh, summoning alternative Ultimate Dragon with this card, especially if you can uh, do that with like one Blue Eyes on board, is just absolutely ridiculous because you summon a huge boss monster and you uh, pop a card in your opponent's field as well. We have Magi Karibo. Just want to make sure I didn't miss any uh, cards there. Magic Karibo, new uh, Dark Magician support card. Monster Rebirth, Ice Jade Erosion, Dynamorphia Shell, and Dynamorphia Diplos. Yeah, the Dark Magician support in this set is insanely good. The new Ritual Monster is really nice for consistency. You just constantly add basically whatever you want to your hand, which is really cool. Oh, we have Vampire Ghost. That's an ultra rare new Vampire support. There's a lot of good Vampire support in this set. I think that might actually be like a real competitive deck after this set. Could be pretty cool. Smorg Bird of Perfection, Ghost Strike Festival, Mutant Mutant, and Smile Potion. How cute. Next up here, we are nearing the end of the right side of the box. We have Ghost Trick or Treat, Epsilon the Magnet Warrior, Leaf Place, this guy is adorable, Del Monster Bear Bear, and DD Griffin, new DD support, Ghost Trick Festival, DDD Headhunt, Flower Dino once again, and the Agent of Destruction Venus. Can't wait for the other agent support to make its way to the TCG as well. But that card is already just really good by itself. But also we have more agent support that we know is on the horizon. Dimension Conjurer, that's a new Dark Mission support card. Oh, that's cool. Fire Opal Head, this is an OSG card, I believe. A zero scale with no downsides, so kind of you can just pendulum summon whatever you want. Ghost Trick or Treat, Epsilon the Magnet Warrior. And Dark Contract with Patent License. What the heck is that? There's like a stack of papers going towards the sky. That is insane. I guess that's what it's like filing a patent. Uh, we have Imprudent Intrusion. Top Share, the Agent of Destruction, Venus, and Monster Rebirth. Just two more packs on the right side of the box here. Can we see any more world premieres? I would love to because so far they've been pretty cool. We have uh, the Soul Sweeper, Branded Disciple, Kaiza the Hidden Star, End of the Line, and Sales Ban, another secret rare. This is kind of like a, a one turn prohibition for whatever card, but then you're restricted from using that card for the rest of the duel. Kind of a crazy to see that as a secret rare. You can see a couple old school monsters in the artwork there, which is pretty cool. Gotta love the Magical Merchant shout out in the background. Del Monster, Miss Mashin, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Imprudent Intrusion, Top Share, and Venus once again. Last pack on the right side of the box here. Let's keep it going. We have Sword Soul Strife, Tribe Drive, Branded Disciple, 
end of the line, and Dragon Bite. Oh, but this is a new world premiere as well. So this is a level four insect tuner, new insect sport. Hold on, let's read this for real quick here. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon a level four or lower insect monster from your hand. <laughs> what? You can banish one at level four or lower insect monster from your hand, graveyard, or face of field, then target one monster you control, increase its level by the level of the banished monster until the end of this turn. What? <laughs> This card is crazy. You can even like make a uh, Baron with this plus Quagar Hercules. That's hilarious. It's not uh, technically a B Trooper card, but holy crap, this is uh, pretty much uh, meant for B Troopers. That is so cool. Dragon Bite. This support is insane. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's cool. Um, Imprudent Intrusion, the Great Double Casted Caster, Donomorphia Diplos, and the Tour Ride once again. Wow. That is some crazy good insect support. So this card actually probably will see experimentation in that deck. Ghost Rick Shot, Dimension Conjurer, End of the Line, Branded Disciple, Nordic Relic, I am not trying to pronounce that. A uh, new Nordic support in the set, by the way. There's some really cool ones. Uh, S-Force, Maple Maiden, Samoric Bird of Perfection, and the Serpent Strike. Oh my gosh, I am very excited to uh, put that card in my B Trooper deck immediately. It seems very good. Branded Disciple, a big dragon thing once again. Soul Sweeper, Tribe Drive, and XYZ Combine. That is new union support, I believe. We got uh, the classics on there, of course. Oh, we pulled this little adorable thing. How cute. All right, moving on. Let's see what other world premieres we can try to pull in this pack opening. Another Nordic Relic. That's pretty nice. This one's actually pretty good. It's like, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a Dark Luna more. You can negate the effects of all face-up cards your opponent currently controls. You just have to control in a Seer monster. So easier said than done sometimes, but luckily the new support uh, does make it a lot easier to bring out those big boss monsters. We have Smoke Mosquito. I think that's an OSG import. And Mad Hacker. Not Mad Hatter. Mad Hacker. Next up, we have the Dream Mirror Trader, the Hidden Star, that thing again, Clear New World, and White Relic of Dogmatica, Ice Jade Erosion, the Tyrant of Thunder, Smile Potion, and a new S-Force monster, of course. We pulled a couple of those, I think, so I don't need to read through all of those. Moving on, we have Doll Monster, Bear Bear, Dimension Conjurer, Fire Opal Head, Ghost Trick or Treat, and another Nordic Relic Trap Card. Monster Rebirth, Shining, Top Share, and Serpent Strike. Be cool to pull the uh, cover card as well, although I don't know what rarity it is. Dinomorphia Brute, uh, the Mechanical Monstrosity, that's a fun card. Tribe Drive, Soul Sweeper, and we have another Libromancer. Okay, Libromancer Doom Broker. So uh, as I expected, we have a higher leveled ritual as well. So uh, this is a Fiend Ritual Monster level 6. You can ritual summon this card with a Libromancer card. If this card is ritual summoned by using a monster or monsters on the field, it can attack directly. You can only use each of the following effects of Libromancer Doom Broker once per turn. During your main phase, you can set one Libromancer Trap directly from your deck. I don't think we've pulled any Libromancer Trap cards yet. Uh, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one face of monster your opponent controls, shuffle into the deck. Oh, it's just Meloseek. Perfect. <laughs> Ritual Meloseek. I'll have to give it a try. That's pretty cool, though. DDD Headhunt, Flower Dino, the Agent of Destruction, Venus, and Imprudent Intrusion. Okay, so we have at least two Ritual Monsters for the Libromancer deck. Who knows uh, how the rest of the deck looks, though. Oh, here's another card. <laughs> Libromancer Agent. So this one is level six. You can reveal one ritual monster in your hand, special summon this card from your hand. They seem to all have that. Uh, you can target one Libromancer card in your graveyard, except Libromancer Agent, add it to your hand. Then if you added a spell or trap by this effect, place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. Okay, but if you add a monster, you don't have to do that. So it's actually just like a free plus, which is pretty cool. And this one's level six, so you wanna use it to uh, summon this card. That's actually pretty nice. Ice Jade Erosion, Tyrant of Thunder, Smile Potion, and Mutant Mutant. Okay, here we go. A couple packs left on the left side of the box. We have uh, Erdoria of Fate, uh, the Mechanical Monstrosity, Ghost Trick, Siren, Ghost Trick, or Treat, and another copy of the Dark Charmer Gloomy. Ghost Trick Festival, Doll Monster, Maple Maiden, and Smoke Mosquito. Smoke Mosquito, such a funny looking card. Yeah, I believe that is an Ocean Cult. 
Okay, we have the Dream Mirror Trader, Leaf Place, again, that card's adorable, Gilstrick Shot, the Mechanical Monstrosity, and DDD Divisor King Deuce Machinex, I think that is. That is a crazy name. The DDD monsters always have the longest names. Let's be real, that's always how they've been. But uh, that is a new Ultra Rare Exceeds Pendulum Monster, Pendulum Scale 10, by the way. That is a crazy looking DDD card. Leaf Place again, Silver Vine Senri, I think we pulled one of those, Dow Monster, Tribe Drive, and Alice Lady of Lament. Ice Jade Erosion, Dynamorphia Shell, Smoke Mosquito, and Mad Hacker. Just two packs left. Can we pull anything crazy out of the last two packs? We'll see. Rock Scales, Dow Happiness, Silver Vine, Sword Soul, Strife, and Libromancer, Magic Girl once again. So this is not a new Libromancer. Well, I mean, it's new to the set, but we already read it in today's video. Uh, we have the Shining card, Top Share, uh, Serpent Strike, and Ice Jade Erosion. Final pack in our Battle of Chaos box opening. This is going to be pretty exciting regardless, but it would be cool to see a new world premiere card in here. Leaf Place, once again, Silver Vine, Sword Soul Strife, Tribe Drive, and Libromancer Intervention. Okay, so this is at least one of the trap cards that the level 6 Ritual Monster can set. Libromancer Intervention is a normal trap card that says, when your opponent activates a card or effect, target one Libromancer Ritual Monster you control, return to the hand, and if you do negate the activated effect, then you can special summon one Libromancer monster from your hand or graveyard. You can only activate one Libromancer Intervention per turn. So it bounces back the ritual, it negates a card, and then special summons a Libromancer. Could actually be pretty good. Ice Jade Erosion, Mad Hacker, S Force, and a new Dogmatica Ritual Spell to summon that level four Ritual Monster we pulled a little while ago. The set looks pretty cool so far. Far, we pulled a bunch of Libromancers, we pulled that crazy insect monster, and we pulled the Dynamorphia fusion trap card as well, which is really good. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll see you later. Goodbye.